Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey, best-selling author and transformational teacher and coach for over 30 years. One of the questions I most often ask is, how do I be more self-empowered? There was a study done that I know can help you. This was a study of how 99.9% .9 of all of us come into this world really operating at a genius level. We are what's called fully modal. Uh, kinesthetic and auditory and visual and we just we our learning curve the first 18 months of our life from not even you know, having any language or what is this strange thing out here this is my hand I learned not only does it belong to something called my body I can actually cause it to reach out pick up a piece of food bring it to my mouth or grab my toe and pull it to my mouth all of these learnings about how to work with this body and then become language skilled and learn how to stand up and be erect and, and be a walker in the world and all of this kind of learning. We do a rapid amount of that learning and excelling and demonstrating in the first 18 months of our life. By the time we are five years old, only 20% of us are operating at a genius level. And by the time we are 20, only 2% of us are operating at a genius level. What happens to us? And so the study over many, many years did some wonderful tracking about what happens that causes us to actually close down our capacities to create and learn at will. And what we found is that for most of us, as we grow, we are literally trained to look into other people's eyes for opinion and approval, and we develop something called the internal voice of judgment. And we look into other people's eyes who don't think we can or shouldn't or we better try harder and, and we start to shut down our capacities and we develop this voice of insecurity and this voice of I'm not enoughness and this voice of, ooh, you're not good enough, you should have done it better. And it begins to take, run over the whole stage of our awareness. So how can I live a more empowered life is start to notice when that voice is talking to you and talk back to it and say, I didn't make me. I can't even make my heart beat one time. There is a power that's breathing me. That power has created a universe, mountains and streams. It knows what it's doing. It has a 15 billion life history right here on this planet. It knows what it's doing with me. And the power that is breathing me and the mind I get to think with is more powerful than any security, insecurity I have or anything in this world. So I encourage you, if you want to be more empowered, when you hear that voice arguing with you about why you can't, just say, up until now. Up until now, I believed that you were the highest power I knew, but not now, not here, not me.